What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing a showcase on Baymax, so let's go straight into the video. So I currently have a 5 star Baymax at rank 5. I've been using him quite a bit recently, so we're just going to go over his abilities first. So his core ability, Baymax grants a 25% defense buff to other allies in an area around him. He is also immune to wound and poison. So moving on to his armor field, this is where he gets a lot of his abilities and this is where his main utility is. His special ability, Baymax activates his armor field for 5 seconds. While in the field, Baymax and the allies gain 1% of their total defense as armor every second. And enemies within the armor field are inflicted with stun for 1.5 seconds when it activates. So it stuns your enemies and you also get a lot of armor. This is a good support special to use, so that's why Baymax is one of the best. The signature ability, other allies under 11% health heal 1% every second whilst in the armor field. And this increases as you go up. If you go to a special ability, that is 5 seconds. So that's 5% health and it increases as the signature ability increases. So moving over to his talents, so we're just going to go over the basic, which the first one just grants more defense, and then the other one is gains more health at the start of the encounter. And then moving on to his advanced one, defense aura grants an additional 4% defense. On to the next one, the armor field grants 1% more armor, and this scales up as you go up. So there's going to be tons more armor that Baymax is getting, and it's just more utility. The other advanced one, enemies within the defense aura receives a 80% attack debuff. So this is great to have, so they'll be doing less damage whilst within the aura itself. So that's very good. And then his elite talent, armor field lasts one second longer. This is really good. You want to level the elite one up because it goes from five seconds to six and then you can go all the way up to like 10 seconds and you're going to gain so much more armor. They're going to have the attack debuffs on them and basically you're just going to be regening health if your guardians are low. So basically this is really good to have. So make sure you level up the elite talent because the higher you have it, the more effective the aura will be and it'll just be helping you out so much and that's why Baymax is one of the best in the game because of his aura and his elite talent making it last longer it's just going to be more beneficial for you, the player and also your other allies with you who are controlled by the AI so yeah, make sure you definitely level the elite one up but yeah, that's basically Baymax, he isn't really too like heavy in terms of his actual abilities but his support is what makes him one of the best in the game and we're just going to go into some gameplay right now and I'll show you his aura and other bits of his utility. So now moving over, we currently have a fight here where we are using Scrooge McDuck with Baymax and also Ariel to provide the damage. And all you really need to do here is just build up your specials and just launch your specials to get that aura and to provide that armor towards all your other guardians in the fight. Now running an armor guardian that sort of gives a lot of armor, as you can see, the armor field is given armor, currently 21 per second to everybody, 15 towards aerial, and also having a support guardian that gives healing, it's two sources of gaining like health and armor, and you're just going to be doing really good in this fight, you won't be taking as much damage because of the stun, they'll be stunned half the time, and also you're just regenerating all your health back, and you're getting armor additionally, so it's just really good to have running both these guardians at the same time Scrooge McDuck and also Baymax it's a great option to be a tank necessarily like be a tank honestly and as you can see Baymax is just doing nothing really he's not really a damage dealer he doesn't really have that utility in terms of damage his armor and also his stun it just makes it so much easier for Ariel and other guardians to actually deal the damage and yeah, Scrooge McDuck just in the background, getting that regeneration on, getting those critical buffs onto Ariel, increasing her damage. Here we're just going to gain some focus. And we currently have the aura activated, because it activated as we were leaving the actual room, and it's still on, so I'm gaining a little bit of armor there. But you'll see in a minute when we activate it, you can see the armor going up on the left side of your screen. I'll show you right now. So we're using it right now. Get that stun and armor field. If you look at Ariel, she's gaining a little bit of armor. Within, if she's in range, she's actually gaining the armor. So you've got to make sure your guardians are within the aura circle itself. And you can get loads and loads of armor. And it's just a really good bit of utility to have from a guardian. He's also a tank as well. He's got full health at the moment. And he's just smashing into everybody. Just not caring. 
So yeah, Baymax is just a tank overall. He's a great guardian to use. He's one of my favourites to actually use at the moment. I'm so glad I have him as a 5 star. He's going to replace Sully very soon and it's game over. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.